Welcome to boardshop.co.uk, Battle of the Band, uh, Battle of the Bands, Battle of the Boards time. Um, two crackers, The Lost County Twin, Mark Richards and Matt Barnos collab, and another Matt Barnos bit of work, the round nose fish, but in the LibTech construction. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the boards down, compare them for panel power, wave catching, etc., etc. We'll give you our verdicts on each one and you'll have to watch all the way to the end to see who the winner is. Right, Matt, you start. Um, paddling, how does it paddle? Paddle's good, paddle's really good, especially for like one of these kind of shorter hybrid-y style boards where sometimes they can push water if the, if the distribution and the, the layout's not right. But um, paddle's very, very good for a board of its style. I gave it four out of five, uh, I loved it. All right, over to you. The Cali Twin is one of the most underrated boards of all time. It, the feedback on it is universally brilliant. Uh, it's super popular. It just feels right. The volume distribution, everything, uh, the rocker line, everything about this board wins. Paddling wise, I've never served anything that paddles better in this kind of template, in this kind of style, so it gets a five out of five. Moving over to wave catching ability. It's pretty much similar in terms of that. The wave entry on this is strong, getting nice and easy, nice and early. Again, for a board of its template, it's hard to find something that beats it. Um, but it's they're very, very close. Again, I gave this four out of five, uh, catching nine out of 10 waves. So four out of five kind of makes sense. Um, the Cali Twin just doesn't miss a beat. It paddles so smoothly, so consistently, as long as you size it right, of course, that it's about as good as paddling can be on this style of board. Um, that's it, really, five out of five. Can't argue, to be honest. Speed, speed. So speed, so to clarify, speed is when you're up and riding, not paddle speed, that's the difference. Um, this is where this board kind of blew me away. As soon as you're at your feet, you're flying. Um, set it with a twin fin like these, um, and pang, two plus, like twin plus trailer, or just the twinny. As soon as you land, you get a burst of speed, you're down the line, and then you can go to town. Um, watch uh, five and, is it five and a half, 19 and three quarters? It's an old lost film where this board basically is the star of the show. You don't see surfers going fast up, and this board does the same. I gave it a four out of five, just because I'm a bit harsh. The, sp the thing about the speed is that speed has to be controlled and the round nose fish gives you massive acceleration, but you've got to control it. And what the Cali Twin does is give you that element of control effortlessly. It generates the speed, it accelerates nicely, it carries the speed through the slower sections of the wave, but it does it all in such a smooth, consistent manner that you're not having to readjust the whole time. And it, you're not having to think, mm, I need to pitch that turn a little bit deeper, a little bit higher, because the board kind of drives itself and it does so it does so immaculately. So guess what? Five out of five again. 15 out of 15 so far for you. Well, uh, I quite like it. <laughs> Next one is maneuverability. Uh, so when you're up and riding and you've got all of this speed, what are you gonna do with it? Um, this, again, I couldn't quite believe how well it worked for a board like this. I felt like I was on a thrust up. I felt like I had three fins, squash tail, and I could just go as hard and push as hard as I like and try and throw a little bit of spray and, and you know. And I'd like to have seen that. Yeah, I mean, it was all trying, no no achieving, but the board worked really, really well. Um, I gave it another four out, four and a half out of five, and it's just moving up. And I uh, I love it. You can really get funky on this when you're trying to maneuver it. Um, similar story with really, as the round low fish with the Cali Twin. Uh, it's very responsive, and with that two plus one setup, the little trailer just to control the thing, it is um, a joy to surf. Your turns aren't super tight because of the nature of the board, but they are smooth. It's a very forgiving kind of feel to the turns. I'm so sure if you surfed it in a like French punchy beach break or something, um, and you're a better surfer, you could get it to pivot a little bit harder. But it's it's just smooth, controllable, and consistent, which is what any middle-aged man surfer wants out of life. And a wife, actually, but that's another story entirely. Um, consistent one. Four and a half out of five. Uh, so, fun factor. Something else you want from a wife. 
Well, yeah. Um, have you met my wife? <laughs> Carry on quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, this is where I found, having served both, serving this one more, I found this one just pipped because of how you could get the twin fin feel, the two plus one, like the, the trailer feel, or a thruster feel from one board. And that made it more fun for me because I could fly down the line and just pretend I'm looking cool when I don't, or I can try and pretend I'm turning. Or better, than, better than you are. Yeah, but um, go, going fast is what's fun for me. Yeah. So I gave this four and a half. Um, the Cali Twin is a fun board to serve, no question about that. But because of all those elements of forgiveness and control and everything that I mentioned in the other sections, it's not a five out of five fun board kind of thing. I mean, hardly any boards are, obviously. But because of the nature of the board, it's a four out of five, but it's still more than enough fun for most people to handle, unless you're a pro or something. So yeah, very solid, forgiving, uh, lovely, consistent. And because of all those elements, it's a four out of five, not a five out of five. Last one, but not the new section for this one, just because it had to be, which is construction. Uh, you might not even get a word in on this one. <laughs> I, I can see S-Class, brilliantly, brilliantly made board, feels so solid. Um, it's not gonna pressure Dean to death within the first couple of surfs. And these boards keep their, their performance and their flex and what have you for ages and ages, not like old school PU boards, but the LibTech construction is second to none, but it's eco credentials. And also now how the dampening is sorted out in the board, how it flexes, how it surfs. Construction wise, it's really hard to beat. Yeah, I, I echo that. I feel like you get, I love PU. PU is where, where it's at. But for me, I get everything I love in a PU board, except for if I walk out and whack the door with the tail or the nose, I'm not even worried, I don't even look back. And that's where, Five out of five. I think also in this style of board, the, the extra little bit of stiffness and rigidity you get in this construction really helps with projection. It doesn't compromise the ability to get it on a rail, but it does give you that uh, that kind of instant response speed-wise. Yeah, and weight. It gives you a PU weight. Some of the other epoxy boards on the market, right. which are really good, in boards like this are a bit too light and you can kind of, get chattery on them and stuff. Mm. The weight sits in the water nicely so you can control it as well as having so much fun. But yeah, this got five. I think PU gets a solid four. Yeah. Um, which does mean we have to crown a winner. And surprise, surprise, Ian's holding it again. Uh, the Cali Twin does win on this occasion, but it's very, very close. Both brilliant boards. Um, both, neither would disappoint if you're serving them in the right conditions, size them right. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching for another one coming soon. And if you need any help with anything, give us a ring, email us, or get in touch. Thanks a lot.